Welcome to chapter 2, video 28 of series 3, and in this video I'll give you a brief rundown of what chapter 2 is going to be about. Right, so it's going to be about developing the game manager system. I'll show you how to develop it using events, and then have all these different scripts uh, use that system. Uh, so let me just briefly go through this. It's all a bunch of colors and whatnot, and it doesn't make any sense at the moment, but actually once I explain it, it'll make a lot more sense, and as you start building it, it'll make even more sense. Right, so the foundation is the Game Manager Master Script. Anything in gray here is a script that belongs to the Game Manager system. Anything that's green is a script from an external system. This is from the player system, which you'll develop later. Uh, anything that's blue is a UI component. Right, so inside of the Game Manager Master, there are the fo these are the following events. Uh, anything in, uh, well, all of these ones, like I've just color-coded each of the events, and you can then see where events uh, do something. So, for example, the Game Manager Pause Toggle, when the Menu Toggle event is called, the Toggle Pause method in this script will be listening to that event and it'll then get run. And so I've written down here that black text is the caller, so anything you see in black calls the event, and white text is the listener. Alright, so let me have show you another example. In the Game Manager menu script, uh, there's a method called toggle menu, and you see here it's black so this will actually call the menu toggle event. So it'll access the game manager master script, call this event. And when this event is called, everything else in white, which is listening, will then also be called. So for example, the player controller, then this method will be run, toggle player controller. At the same time, in the game manager uh, cursor toggle script, uh, the toggle cursor state method will also be run at the same time. Uh, and then, for example, here also, uh, then this uh, this method will also be listening for a game over event. So if a game over event happens, then, for example, well, then what will happen is the toggle menu method will also be run uh, in that instance. Uh, so let me find another good one. Uh, for example, uh, let's say button restart level. It's an actual UI button. When it's pressed, it will go ahead and call the restart level event. Now anything listening will then run when this event is called. What is listening from this list? We can see it's the game manager restart level script. It has a method called restart level and it is listening and it will run when that event is called. All right, so is it making a lot more sense now what's going on? Uh, so you can see that anything that's color coded, all colors belong to that event and the white text tells you it's a listener and the black text tells you that it's actually doing the calling. Okay, and um, of course each event needs something to call it, otherwise it does nothing. And you'll see that uh, for each one there is a caller. So for example, for the menu toggle event, it is the game manager menu that has a method called toggle menu that will call this event. All right. Uh, then, for example, for the inventory UI toggle event, there is a game manager inventory UI script. And this method, when it's called, it will call this event. And then, of course, the listeners will then carry out the methods that are subscribed to that event. And you can see the other uh, three callers as well. For example, go to menu scene. Uh, this will call this event. And then anything listening, like this one, it will actually carry out them this method, which has code in it to make it change the scene uh, to the menu scene. All right, so that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you get your head around it, it is actually a really simple uh, setup, a simple system too. And uh, we'll also build the, uh, the UIs um, in this uh, in this chapter as well. We'll build the um, uh, canvas menu uh, UI. And all that is is just uh, uh, some buttons, the main menu, restart level button, an instruction sheet. Uh, and while I won't show you how to make something like this, I'll just tell you that you can do this in PowerPoint. You can All this is just an image. You can do it in any art program, any uh, paint type of program. You can even do it in PowerPoint. I did this in PowerPoint. And I'll show you at least how to uh, put in a text and all that sort of stuff anyway. That's all pretty simple. 
And uh, besides the canvas menu, also, and I'll show you how to build the buttons and stuff from there and set them up correctly. Uh, the panel instructions and so on, the game over uh, menu, uh, well, game over UI item. And then I'll show you as well about the inventory UI as well. Uh, that's also really uh, simple. It's all going to be just static UI. It's not going to do anything except for uh, the um, main menu and restart level buttons. Only they'll be doing something by the end of this chapter. Uh, for other stuff, you're going to have to wait till much later. The systems you'll have built, they'll be just waiting for to get used, waiting for something uh, to make proper use of them. But anyway, so that's enough for this video. Um, in the next video, move on to that. And uh, in that, you'll see that I'll be working on the Game Manager Master Script. So thanks for watching, and see you there.